people of color in um, in Canada might be experiencing um, feeling like they don't belong anywhere. Um, I definitely went through that in my life. They might be dealing with internalized racism or feeling like they have to assimilate in their environment. And um, they don't feel connected with their parents at home. And they also don't feel connected with the people here because maybe they don't feel acknowledged in their space. And it becomes like they're fighting for um, to be seen, to be heard, to be acknowledged. And it's really hard to get that anywhere, right? So um, yeah, it's like really, really difficult to find a community for them, it might be. I think for people who um, come from families who, are, um, who may have parents who are immigrants and who came overseas, oh, there's so much there. They might be dealing with like um, their parents' like uh, distress and their trauma, intergenerational trauma. Um, they might be dealing with survivor's guilt in that way, like their parents giving them a more fortunate life so you can be in this space today. Um, and they're constantly telling you that. Um, the children may be experiencing like um, intersectionalities of their identity that they feel kind of lost in and confused about um, and they're wondering like hey am I being represented in my spaces in my communities and they're kind of looking out for that or hyper aware of that.